My name is Claire Luge and I'm the Director of Training and Outreach with Prevent Child Abuse Arizona. And in my work, I get to teach people about the link between childhood trauma and adult health. When a child has experiences like abuse or neglect or witnessing domestic violence or having a drug abuser in the home, those experiences can change the development of their brain and make them more likely to abuse substances later on. There was a researcher named Dr. Vincent Felitti, and he discovered this when he studied thousands of adults and asked them about these adverse childhood experiences, things like abuse and neglect and witnessing domestic violence. And he found that the more of these experiences that people had, the more likely they were to develop any of our nation's leading health and social problems. Things like substance abuse, depression, alcoholism, all of those things that we want to stop as a society. According to the 2016 Arizona Youth Survey, 91% of middle and high schoolers who have abused an opioid within the past 30 days have at least one adverse childhood experience. If the brain is experiencing long-lasting traumatic stress, then the part of the brain that will grow is the one that responds to stress. And the other parts of the brain that help that child pay attention or control their emotions or make thoughtful, reflective decisions and judgments, those parts of the brain are not going to get as much of a chance to develop. So those children are growing up with an overactive stress response. It makes sense that childhood trauma leads to a greater likelihood of abusing substances. It's not what's wrong with these people. Why are they choosing to abuse drugs? It's what happened to these people. Luckily, there are other things that we can do to deal with our stress. And the first thing that you need to do is get help if you need it. It is the bravest thing that you can do, but also the most important thing that you can do if you're struggling with addiction. You can also build your resilience skills Things like meditation and breathing and connecting to other people, those things will help you deal with stress and help you be the person that you want to be. Show up to an event in your community. Building social connections is one of the best ways to prevent trauma from happening and to fortify yourself against the effects of stress. I'm very grateful to Governor Doug Ducey and First Lady Angela Ducey and Director Maria Cristina Fuentes of the Governor's Office of Youth, Faith and Family for their work in promoting the awareness of adverse childhood experiences and working to prevent them in our state. If you're struggling with substance abuse, a great place to start is RethinkRxAbuse.org. There you can find resources about how to get help in your community.